The first thing we need to talk about is camera angles because on the next gen consoles you do get some exclusive camera angles. The first one we're going to take a look at today is the tactical cam. As you can see it's a bit more zoomed out, you see more of the crowd, you see basically the whole field. Now there's also another one here, let me just go to settings real quick because there's the second one which is also exclusive and that's called the EA Sports Game Cam. To me it looks very similar to the tactical view which we just saw before but I think it zooms in and out a bit less. Another thing that's exclusive to the next gen consoles is the hypermotion replays where you can see different stats as the guy hits the ball. This one's a good example. You can see Haaland, we score with the power shot. The replay comes up with the Hypermotion logo and you can see all the stats. So you've got the player speed, then it switches to his shot stats and the expected goal stat, the distance to goal stat, and the ball speed as well. This year, Hypermotion overlays come up for goalkeeper save replays as well. You can see some of the stats come up for reaction time for the keeper. And there's also things like most fatigued and also the possession stats. And this one's a cool one. The last five shots overlay comes up sometimes as well. Next up is dynamic match intros. So pretty much before you start any game in FC24, you're going to see these match intros. They're cutscenes that go for about a minute. And there's different scenes. You might see some in the locker rooms, players walking out of the change rooms and different things like that. But the problem with this is that you miss out on the actual walkout cutscenes now with the mascots and the lineups presentation. EA got rid of all that for the next-gen platforms. 